Welcome, you're at your home, your happy place. My name is Debbie. Thank you to all my new subscribers, you guys. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you're new um, and it's your first time, I hope when you're done watching, you'll think, hmm, I wanna come back and see more. And all you have to do is press the subscribe button and it's free. So I'm gonna do our dining room tablescape today. What else are we gonna be doing in this room before it's all said and done, but not today? Um, the fireplace mantle, the piano area, and this year I'm going to do my china cabinet, which I've never done before. So let's get started on the table. So I've used a tablecloth for the very first time. As you can see, it's cream. We have a table runner by Tahari that is a velvet deep green. Uh, and there's Christmas trees embroidered on it. It comes across with a little bit of gold stitching. And then my chargers are gold. They are actually plastic, but on the top, they feel like wood. We're set for nine people um, because that's who we're having as guests. And my table will hold 10. So what we've done at first, I set it with three plates on one side, four on the other, and then the head and the foot. But it looked, I couldn't handle the symmetry being off. So I have um, done four on one side, four on the other, and I've omitted the, basically, usually we would think of that as the head of the table by the fireplace. So everyone can see the fireplace, and I'm pushing that table in a little. This is the first three layers of the table. If I were to guess, I bet there's a lot of you that own this. So this is Royal Dalton. Uh, I believe it's called the Old Country Rose Pattern. Super popular in, I don't know what years. Um, it is rimmed in gold. It's a nice piece of china from England. And um, I bought mine at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and my mother bought hers at probably Dillard's. And I don't know if that means mine have, you know, flaws in them. People say that they don't, so I'm not sure. I've never seen them, any flaws. But um, as most of you know, my mother has passed away, so I inherited hers. So I have a nice collection now, and I'm gonna set these out. So where's my pink coming from? As you can see, we have the deep green that's going throughout the house and those that rose there is also gold. So it's picking up some of the other colors in the rooms. And then we have kind of a burgundy pink and then a paler pink. So I just think it's beautiful for the colors and I haven't used this china in so long. I'm excited to put it out. The luncheon plate that I'm gonna put on here, or salad plate, is part of the Old Country Rose collection. It's called Seasons of Color. And um, it's got a little bit of a Christmas tree at the top of this topiary. And it's gold and then a deep pink. And you know, it's got all the colors in it. Um, I really wanted to try and find the lime green and the pink to work into the table, but that didn't work. And then even the holly that's around, it's hard to see, but there's a little holly around here. They're kind of in a lime and uh, deep pink. I only had eight, so I got lucky and went on eBay and found a plate that I paid a premium price for. But, you know, when you're looking to add to a collection, it's worth it. And I'm so thrilled I got it. So let's put those out and see what you think. Sleeping 
all is peace and I'm still hanging round in a house that's filled with lights walking through a midnight wonderland the wise man keeping watch now it's midnight and though it's cold outside we're staying warm and the star saw the last haul I did. I'm going to tell you, this is not on camera as gorgeous as it is in person. Um, all the sparkle, which there's a lot of, is very gold. Um, the whole thing comes out looking very gold. So I'm going to put this in my center and then I'm going to work out because I just, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but I do know I'm going to put the candles in here and let this be the beginning of it. I haven't gone back to Michael's. Uh, I think I was going to do three of these, but I really only have two. So I'm going to mix in this one for now and then hope that they still have some when I go back. Here's the garland. I think I showed it to you in my last haul. It's very sparkly and gold. I'm gonna just do, I have two of them. Actually, I have three, but one was for either the fireplace mantle or something else, so let's see how this is gonna go. So I'm still playing with this, but as I curled it around, I left this hole. Originally, I had these amazing and gorgeous crystal, very heavy crystal, before I got that um, candle, candle sticks in here. And I'm not sure, I might just do it, why not? Who cares if I'm mixing crystal and gold pine cones? I'll put the same color candle in there, we'll see. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more and I'll show you the finished <laughs> or the finished for now. Okay, right now. And I know I, I may get more short ones. I don't know. I don't know if that's too tall. I'll have to sit down to see, um, but I can get more short ones, hopefully. So here's where I'm at with it. But I found some uh, little cutoff pieces. I don't know where these are from, but they were just in one of my bins. It looks like, I mean, they're just loose. So I'm gonna just stick these in randomly in here to dress it up. I don't know how many I have. Looks like I have six, so I should be able to make this look work out really nice. It's simple, but super elegant. There we go. Now, I have some berries in my car. They're quite large and they're garlands. And I mean, they could transform this even more, but they're big. So I just don't know. I kind of like the delicateness of it with the china. All right, let's see. I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna use napkin rings or not. I'm gonna go look at my napkin rings and see what we've got. Okay, I opted out of the napkin rings because the only ones I had were just, they cheapened it. 
And honestly, I wanted a more formal setting. You've never seen me use a tablecloth before, and you've never seen me just fold napkins. So I've created a little pocket with my napkin, and I'm going to put my gold silverware inside. Um, and I will show you how to fold it. It's super simple. Let me see if I can do it with one hand here. So first I make a triangle. I usually do it the opposite way though, because I'm doing it upside down. Am I? No, I'm not. Okay. And then I'm going to take this corner and I'm, well, no, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take this corner and I'm going to go till I get this point about where I'm going to have it. See how I end up with? So somewhere in there. It's not all the way over. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to wrap it until I've got that nice little pocket. And down here it looks like that. And then I just bring this underneath. And there's my easy peasy napkin pocket. I just added this to the end of the table where I ended up not having a place setting, which um, if you watched my hostess gift video, I mean, they're, made, they're great gifts besides hostess gifts, but this is one. Um, I'm sure I found it at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, it's so beautiful. So it is simply a beautiful um, wine holder and then a stopper. And you bring somebody a bottle of wine for their meal and that. And it's just, I mean, it's just gorgeous. Okay, what else have I done? I've added angels. I had these up on the um, mantle. And once I put the garland up there, they were lost. So I have four of these. I have not, I've, I don't know how many years I've had them, 30 years. Um, I have not missed a Christmas of having them out. So I just wanted you to see them. There's one more on this side. They've all got a musical instrument. It's gone. Now let us focus on the holidays having fun.
pleasure to bring you a tablescape, one of my favorite things to do. It was so much fun to be able to use something that I've had for a long time that was also my mother's. I know she would have thought the tablescape was so pretty. And also you guys, for those of you that were talking about some of the hostess gifts, I still ordered some yesterday that are coming today. So I don't think it's too late when this video comes out. You may still try if you're going somewhere this weekend or Thursday to order off of my hostess gift shop on my storefront on Amazon. I bought two mud pie things. One is just a outright present because they make great gifts and the other will be a hostess gift. I'll share next week because Sometimes those people watch my channel. Um, you can get to my Amazon storefront from the links below, or you can go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash your home, your happy place. When you shop my links, I am an Amazon influencer and I do earn a commission. It is a way that you can help support my channel for free. Early Black Friday deals have already started. I used my uh, access yesterday, which if you're, I think everybody is, you don't have to be a Prime member to do that, but um, I are, uh, started ordering some more Christmas presents because I just don't like to end up in December and, and still have shopping to do, right? What's coming next? I will bring you gingerbread this week, I will. Um, I recorded one and it was just too, um, I couldn't get everything in and I kind of don't want to do two parts, but I just can't be sure because they're kind of elaborate <laughs> and I don't know what else, but I will be back many times this week and I hope you'll join me. If you're new, welcome. Please press that subscribe button and it's free. Don't forget to get your uh, bell, your notification bell hit. You can always search my channel, Your Home, Your Happy Place on YouTube, and that'll take you to the channel where you can look at everything I've ever done. Some of it goes way back and it's pretty bad, but it's a laugh, right? I didn't take it down. Um, and then if you have enjoyed this, would you please give me a like? All these things help my channel and I'm so appreciative of all of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart and you guys be safe this week and I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.